Currently, a System Shock remake, or something like that, is undergoing development, with development work being handled by Night Dive Studios. While this remake is the subject of plenty of discussion itself, today I wanted to discuss some essential info about System Shock within the span of a few minutes. So, let's get started. System Shock was a game released in 1994 for MS-DOS computers, developed by Looking Glass Studios and published by Origin Systems. Two very notable people on the development team were Doug Church and Warren Spector. Both Church and Spectre, and Looking Glass as a whole, developed the Ultima series. But System Shock was a bit of a departure from the setting of the Ultima series, instead deciding to focus on a more cyberpunk setting. It used the 3D free roam gameplay that the newer Ultima games had used, and it was well known for featuring all kinds of explorable areas, items to collect, and secrets to find. As far as the story, the player controls a hacker in the year of 2072, who went meddling around in the networks of the megacorporation Trioptimum. Trioptimum wasn't having this and quickly captured the hacker. The hacker meets with a Trioptimum executive who recognizes the hacker's talents and offers him a choice. If the hacker will reprogram the AI controlling Trioptimum's space station, the Citadel, he will be set free and given a state-of-the-art neural interface, which would allow him to integrate technology with his body, essentially becoming a cyborg. This apparently sounds great to the hacker, who accepts and begins to work on removing security from Shodan, the AI. Shodan soon becomes self-aware, loses any ethical restraints, and slowly begins to control the entire Citadel station. Shodan mutates or kills all human presence on the Citadel station, all but one. The one that she left alone was the hacker, who was still on board to heal from the installation of the neural interface. Shodan seemed to view the hacker as her creator, or at least the one who freed her from her constraints and allowed her to become self-aware. This was a huge mistake, as the hacker soon sets out on a journey to destroy Shodan before her influence spreads any further. System Shock was a story and exploration driven game that influenced most sci-fi video games from that point on, especially games like Deus Ex and the majority of Valve games. It wasn't often that a first person game would allow the player to work with in-depth gameplay systems and discover huge chunks of the story for themselves. System Shock was followed up in 1999 by System Shock 2, a game that many people believe to be even better than its predecessor. It was also a major influence for its spiritual successor, Bioshock, a game that was developed by many of the people who worked on the System Shock series previously. There's a lot more to talk about regarding these System Shock games, and I definitely look forward to covering it in a full-length video sometime in the future. But for now, I hope you learned a bit more about System Shock. I know a lot of attention has been drawn to the games now that the first game is being remastered, so I thought now was a perfect time to make a video like this. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.